Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on a day in the life of me. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you what I typically do on a day and some of the things that are part of my day and how I handle some of the problems I have and some of the challenges of being a business analyst. So today, um, it's around 8.20, I drop my daughter off at, at school, and then I'm heading to work. Um, usually when I get in, I try to just look at my calendar really quickly to see what are the meetings I have. I know today in particular, because it's the end of a sprint, and as I said in my video about Agile, we do um, two-week sprints. Most companies do two-week sprints. You can have three weeks, you could have even four-week sprints, but it's a short time period in which we're building things at the end of which we'll have a demo and then at the end of which we'll talk about it and plan for the next sprint. That way we have incrementally deliverable that we um, we can we can point to to say we've done and that ends up becoming a part of a release at some point. So today we have our sprint planning where we're going to be talking about the user stories that were written for the next sprint and making sure we clarify any questions that they may have up front and so on. For me, I am a part of um, daily stand-ups. I know some people are not a part of daily stand-ups because they just write the stories and then they leave for the scrum master to handle. But in my role, I am actually physically in the stand-ups, standing up <laughs> and making sure that I answer any questions that they may have during the sprint. Um, in my case today, it's at the end of a sprint, so we'll have what we call a retrospective and that's where we will review and reflect on what we did well in the sprint, what we didn't do well, what we need to start doing, what we need to, what we need to stop doing and try to be better every time we do a sprint. So that's going to be most of my, um, my morning. Then in the afternoon, I will be talking with um, internal staff, um, trying to uncover some root causes of some problems that I know of and try to come up with a solution and propose that to the team um, in a couple of days. So that's going to be my day today. I can't take my camera in, but I will be checking back with you um, maybe lunchtime and in the afternoon to let you know how my day went and what I did today. All right, stay tuned. Bye -bye. start the day as a business analyst you sometimes never know what's going to happen because there could be all kinds of changes during the day but today is one of those days when I already know what the plan is for the day as I said before we had a retrospective and the retrospective was from 9 o'clock to 9 30 and right after that I had the sprint planning which was from 9 30 to 12 so I had a full morning of nothing but meetings and that's typical of what a business analyst does so during our retrospective we basically had the, t the full team. So it was the QA people, the developers, the product owner, the scrum master, me, the business analyst. Um, and we sat down together and we looked at what did we do well during the sprint and what do we need to stop doing during this, the next sprint and um, what are the action items we should take away. And this is a very good exercise, a very good practice because it helps us to be better for the next sprint and so we continually make ourselves better. So that's what the retrospective is. At the end of that, we do it in JIRA, so we have a JIRA conference page that we store and we save and we can look back every time we do a retrospective as to what we did well this time, what we didn't do well. So that was done. After that, at 9.30, we had the sprint planning. So the sprint planning is really when we all get together to review the stories, but there's a lot of prep work that would have gone on before we actually got to sprint planning. So before the sprint, as a business analyst, I would have had the meetings with the, with the um, internal staff on the customers. I would have elicited the requirements. I would have put um, a proposal together, make sure I got sign-off, approvals, and then I would have 
broken it out into user stories and wrote the acceptance criteria, create any mockups, any diagrams, all of that into the story. Once I've done that, then I would meet with the product owner to make sure we prioritize the story to see which one needs to get done for the next sprint. All of that is done before the sprint planning. The sprint planning with the entire team is for them to go through the stories and to make sure they understand what we need them to build and to ask any questions, get any clarifications that they want. So there's a whole lot going on before we actually meet with the entire dev scrum team. So in that meeting today, there's a number of questions. We had to change some things. We were being very responsive, and that's a part of being agile, right? So you respond to change, and that's what we did, and also to document whatever changes we have so that everything is all recorded. So we did that. It took a long time, from 9.30 to 12 o'clock, so it was a long meeting. <laughs> and those are, the, those are the things that you're going to have to expect as a business analyst, right? After that, I went for lunch, and I'll put my lunch video here. So go watch it, right, and come right back. Hey, everyone. So after having such a long morning of meetings, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Now I'm going to go eat some lunch. I'm going to go to my favorite little Italian place and get some lunch, and then I'll come back. Thank you. so bad like the morning so I only had two meetings after lunch and they were both half an hour each just to clarify some questions on a feature that we're releasing to make sure everybody understands what the feature will be doing and then after that I had to sit at my desk and complete some read you know go through my emails respond to emails we have an external consultant that we work with that had some questions I had to respond to that and I was also writing some documentation for the features that we are releasing then I had some documentation I had to prepare for tomorrow so it's always prepping for the next day and making sure everybody's you know is, is understanding what they need to do I also had to get some clients to become part of our testing because we're, we're rolling out a new feature that we needed clients to help us beta test. So I was organizing that test script and making sure everything we need to test can be done. So that was my day. Um, and it's typical of what a business analyst does. There's a lot of meetings. There's a lot of um, changes that you have to adapt to. You have to be very flexible and willing to change, right? Because you're agile. Right, and then there's a lot of documenting and writing and so on. So that was my day. I hope this was insightful somehow to you and check out my other videos. Thank you.